Welcome back to Jetline Marvel for another thrilling aviation episode. The Turkish T-929 Attack II and the Apache are both advanced attack helicopters designed for military operations. These helicopters excel in providing close air support, conducting reconnaissance missions, and engaging enemy objectives precisely. While the T-929 Attack II is a newer entrant into the attack helicopter market, the Apache has established itself as one of the most commonly utilized and battle-tested attack helicopters globally. In this comparison, we will look at many characteristics of these helicopters, including their performance, weaponry, avionics, and overall capabilities, in order to recognize their similarities and contrasts in performing their intended responsibilities on the battlefield. Turkish Aerospace Industries is developing a twin-engine heavy assault helicopter called the T929 Attack II. The helicopter is designed for attack, electronic warfare, and reconnaissance missions in all weather environments in both day and night conditions. Some of the parts and subsystems created for the T-129 and Gokbi helicopter programs will be used in the attack too. The AH-64 Apache is an aircraft manufactured by Boeing Defense, Space and Security. It is a twin-engine, four-blade rotor helicopter mainly, developed for close air support and anti-armor tasks. It has a tandem cockpit design, with the pilot in the back seat and the co-pilot gunner in the front seat operating the armament systems. The Attack II, which made its maiden flight on April 28, 2023, is currently in development. It is projected that the Turkish army would receive it starting in 2025. The T-929 helicopter is equipped with tandem seats, an asymmetrical weapons bay, a large capacity for ammunition, a low IR signature, a digital cockpit, ballistic protection, better avionics, and the potential to engage in electronic warfare and countermeasure operations. To improve situational awareness and target acquisition, Apache has sophisticated sensor and avionics systems. It has a target acquisition and designation site called the Target Acquisition Designation Site or Pilot Night Vision System, which has the ability to see in the dark and track targets while also providing thermal imaging. Attack 2 has a forward-looking infrared turret installed on the helicopter's nose, which will have target tracking capabilities. The helicopter will also be equipped with electronic defenses, including heat-seeking missile jamming systems, located on the tail and infrared ultraviolet missile warning sensors. The heavy-class helicopter can be used for close air support operations, armed reconnaissance and surveillance, air-to-air -air combat, and air-to-ground warfare. The T-929 Attack II and the Apache are both attack helicopters designed for military purposes. Here's a comparison between the two helicopters. The T-929 Attack II is equipped with a 20mm chin-mounted cannon, air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-ground missiles, rockets, and guided munitions while Apache features a 30mm chain gun, air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-ground missiles, rockets, and other guided munitions. Attack 2 is powered by two TV3 to 117 turboshaft engines, each generating 1,864.25 kilowatts, 2,500.00 horsepower. Whereas Apache is powered by two General Electric T700 GE701C turboshaft engines, each engine produces 1,410 kilowatts, 1,890 of horsepower. Attack 2 has a maximum takeoff weight of 10,000 kilograms, 22,046 pounds. Whereas Apache has a maximum takeoff weight of 10,433 kilograms, 23,000 pounds. 
Attack 2 can reach a maximum speed of 318 km per hour, 198 miles per hour, 172 km while Apache can reach a maximum speed of 293 km per hour, 182 miles per hour, 158 km. Attack 2 has a cruise speed of 314 km per hour, 195 miles per hour. And for Apache, it has a cruise speed of 265 km h 165 miles per hour. Attack 2 has a service ceiling of 6,096 meters, 20,000 feet. While Apache has a service ceiling of 6,100 meters, 20,000 feet. Attack 2 measures 49.2 feet in length and 16.4 feet in height, whereas Apache measures 58 feet in length and 12 feet in height. Attack 2 has the empty weight of 12,215 pounds, 5,500 kilograms. While Apache has the empty weight of 11,387 pounds, 5,165 kilograms. The T129, which has a maximum cruising speed of 269 kilometers per hour, was also created by Turkey in collaboration with Italy Augustoistland. The helicopter's standard range is 561 km, while its ferry range is 1,000 km. It can rise at a speed of 14 m per second. Although smaller and less capable than the Apache helicopter, combat aircraft cannot compete with it in terms of operations. The T129 has a wheeled landing gear, a two-bladed tail rotor, a five-bladed main rotor, and an aluminium alloy frame. Apache has a background. The AH-64 Apache helicopter, which was built in 1975 and has undergone a number of minor updates. To improve its performance capabilities, is regarded as one of the best attack helicopters in history. This helicopter's armor is capable of withstanding direct 23mm bullet impacts. This helicopter's rotor blades are also built to function well even after damage. Many aerospace items, including fighter planes and training aircraft, were exclusively created in Turkey. The Turkish Air Force's newest addition to its product lineup will be the T929 helicopter. After the testing of the T929, we will be able to determine whether it will surpass the fighting capability of the Apache. We cannot yet say which helicopter is the finest. But what is truly impressive are the efforts made by the Turkish aerospace industry. Thanks for watching. Share your thoughts about both helicopters in the comments section.